Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today uh, we will present to you about uh, Muslim scholar Al Jazali. Okay, before we start, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Nur Amalina binti Hanafi. My metric number is one one eight two five eight seven. Okay, for the introduction, uh, Imam Al Jazari was born in uh, Jazira, and the area of Jazira is located between the Tigris and Euphrates in Mesopotamia. The name of Al Jazira has been used since uh, 7th century by Islamic sources to refer to the northern section of Mesopotamia and what now is uh, southeastern Turkey. So. Uh, this is the maps uh, show where Al Jazeera is located. Uh, if you can see, um, be, uh, near to the Al Jazeera, it has uh, Euphrates River and Tigris River. Okay, after that, uh, character of Jazeera, Al Jazeera it, itself is outwash or elevated plain, quite distinct from the Syrian desert and lower lying central Mesopotamia. However, the area include eroded hills and incised streams. The mainly concern at Al Jazeera is archaeologically because this area is the earliest in receiving signs of agriculture and domestications that have been found. Al, Jaz Al Jazeera is the starting point leading to civilization and the modern world. Many, uh, many machines that have been built uh, in uh, Jazeera uh, to help the farmers in agriculture and Al Jazari was one of artists that had to build the machines uh, because uh, Al Jazari Mm, is practical engineer that, cons that uh, construct the devices or the machines. Okay, scholar that born in Jazira, uh, Ibn Al Asir, his full name is uh, Is Ad-Din Ab Abu Al Hassan uh, Ali Ibn Al Asir and born in uh, 12 May 1160 at Jazira Ibn Umar, Jazira Empire of the Caliphate, which is uh, now in Turkey, and he died in 1233 at Mosul, Iraq. Uh, Ibn al Asir spent a scholarly life in Mosul but often visited Baghdad and he was for time with Saladin's army in Syria and lived in Aleppo and Damascus. His chief work was a history of the word Al Kamil fi at Tarikh, that means the complete history, uh, which is starting from creations of Adam. The biography of Ismail al Jazari. The real name of Ismail al-Jazari is Muhammad ibn Muhammad ibn Ali ibn Yusuf al-Jazari al-Dimashqi al-Jirazi al-Shafi'i. He was born on 25 Ramadan 751 Hijri in Jazira. He was known as Jazari. He also was known Islamic school in the field of mechanical aerobatic engineering. Imam Ibn al-Jazari died at his home in Shiraz on the 9th of Rabiul Awal in 833 Hijri. He was 82 years old at that time and we were in the madrasa he had found. Al-Jazari started interested in mechanical engineering when he was a child. He showed his skill to his grandparents, which he do many what will which pulled by a hornet. However, his father did not like Al Jazari involved in the field of engineering, but his grandfather helped and tried to find all the books he wanted for his learning. Al Jazari kept reading and studying until his father agreed to get involved. Then Al Jazari spent about two years making children's toy that could travel. The cabinet palace serve Al Jazari making new instruments and teaching the craftsmen as well. The education of Ismail Al Jazari. When he was 40 years old, he memorized the Quran and completed the verse of the Quran in the Tarawih prayers the following year. He also learned the knowledge of Qur'an with Sheikh Ibn Luban when 70 years old. He has mastered the recitation of Qur'an for 40 Imams. 
He also opened a school called Dar al Quran as a continuation of what he had established before and he taught that. When he was 70 years old, he also studied the site of Hadith. He studied at several places such as in Basra, Kufa, Egypt, Yemen, Hijaz, and Syria. He also committed to all these places just to seek knowledge while doing business. So now let's move to Ismail Al Jazri's contribution in Islamic education. First of all, he is the author of Book of Knowledge of Ingenious Mechanical Devices. Um, he also contributes in Islamic education by water racing machines, mechanism and methods, uh, and clocks. Okay. First, he is the author of Book of Knowledge of Engineers Mechanical Devices. This book has a very significant value of Islamic tradition in the field of mechanical engineering. His book is have been quite popular as it is appeared in a large number of manuscript copies. And as he explained repeatedly, he only described devices as he built by himself. Uh, for water racing machines, these are the example of water racing machines, which are first, uh, Sakya chain pump, second, double action suction pump with uh, valves and reciprocating piston motion, and the last one is water supply system. To the mechanism and methods, mechanism and method is the most significant aspect of Al Jazeera's are the mechanism component idea, method, and design features with with they employ. Okay, the example of uh, first camshaft, camshaft and cram slider mechanism design and construction method, escape main machine mechanism in a uh, rotating wheels, mechanical control, segmental gear. These are all the example of mechanism and method that Al Jazeera is um, built by himself uh, on contribution to Islamic education. Okay, for the last one is clock. Uh, Al Jazeera is constructed a variety of water clocks and candle clock. These include a portable water power straight clock, which was a meter high and half a meter wide, constructed successfully at the Science Museum in 1976. Al Jazeera also invented monumental water-powered astronomic, astronomical clock, which display moving, uh, moving model for uh, of the sun, moon, and stars. So these are all the example of um, clocks that Al Jazeera made by himself. Uh, first of first is candle clock, um, elephant clock, castle clocks, and weight-driven water clock. That's all from me. Thank you. My name is Iza Nadia Binti Ilyas and my metric number 1182583 and I would like to analyze one of the published work by Al Jazari and here is the published work that uh, done uh, by Al Jazari and it is water supply system and secondly water raising device. Al Jazari Water Supply System. Al Jazari Water Supply System was built uh, in 13th De 13th century Damascus, and it developed the earless water to supply system to be driven uh, by gears and hydropower, and it functioned to supply water to its mosques and Bremerton. Bremaristan Hospital and I would like to analyze more about uh, Al Jazari uh, water supply system. This dispelled some uh, centuries all belief that it was Leonardo da Vinci from 1452 uh, years to 1519 years, the much honored genius who was attributed to be the first to develop and use hydraulics and mechanical gears. Credit for that invention should rightly go to Al Jazeera, who was developed the system more than 200 years before Leonardo, who was given the credit only because Al Jazeera writings were in Arabic and not known 
not to uh, not known to the ways. The researchers uh, felt that it was highly likely that Leonardo was influenced by Al Jazari writing because there were evidence of interaction between Leonardo da Vinci and the Ottoman uh, Empire where Al Jazari had lived. While in 1502 years, Leonardo produced a drawing of a single span, uh, a single span which is 720 um, foot. Uh, uh, which is 220 meters bridge as part of a project for Ottoman Sultan Bayezid of Istanbul Next, we move to Al Jazari water raising device. At the time when people still relied on well and rivers at the sources for at the sources from water, Al Jazari invent the mechanical device that can help the others to create a water supply system. Unlike Leonardo da Vinci, who was famous and great in sketch that he made. In his note, Al Jazari successfully created a working and functional mechanical system operated by the device. He invent with a great precision and accuracy. His water system, or uh, his water system, comprised of four main device, which form several basics of mechanical engineering today. He was invent a water wheel that had the same effect as a turbine. The water wheel usually placed in the flowing water, such as in the stream. When the flowing water hit the water wheel, the blade will rotate. And this system used gear that connect to the water wheel. The gear rotate together with the water wheel rotation. And Al Jazari accomplished three things with his, with this invention. Firstly, he had secondly um he had succeed in inventing a gear which channel water power from a water wheel to operate other device. Secondly, by using a un unique combination of gears, he was able to change the direction of the motion from vertical to horizontal. And thirdly, by connecting the main, the main gear to a suction pump, he was able to create a piston-like dual motion um, dual motion movement and he also had implemented the double actions uh, sanction pump with wealth and reciprocating piston in this invention by having a working and functional invention like this it shows the depth and of his knowledge Al Jazari and last is a uh, conclusion. As we know uh, and heard before, uh, Al Jazari was a Muslim scholar, inventor, mechanical engineer, craft ma craftsman, artist, uh, and a mathematician from uh, Jazeera uh, Ibn Umar, uh, who lived during the Islamic Golden Age, uh, with his best known of uh, writing the Book of Knowledge of Ingenious Devices in 1206. Uh, he made uh, 100 uh, mechanical devices. So, um, Al Jazari, uh, many of Al Jazari's inventions uh, may not appear to be a significant aspect of Al Jazari, such as a mechanism, component, ideas, method, and design feature, with which they employ so uh, it is clear that uh, he was not only a mechanical engineer but also uh, an expert on material and their long uh, lasting properties um so i would like to take one of his uh concluding point statement that it is hoped that as research proceed female evidence for the transmission of Islamic fine technology into Europe can be provided. So finally, uh, he was a smarter people in his story. So uh, I think uh, I think until here, uh, our presentation from group four. Uh, thanks for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.